As Albert Einstein's March 14th birthday is quickly approaching, we thought we'd take a bit of time to talk about the people scientist. Not only was he quirky, he was a rebellious, fun, and kind-hearted man who touched many lives during his time on Earth. Here, we'll take a dive into his interesting, semi-troubled youth to his discovery of some of the most famous equations and theories in science and mathematics. This is the incredible life of Albert Einstein. 14. The Failing of Math We'll just kick this off with a big old rumor that Einstein failed math as a child. Sorry to disappoint everyone, but he sure didn't. While math wasn't his best area of study, he never failed it, although he didn't take it as seriously as he should have while in school, as he himself said. He did, however, fail his entrance exam in Zurich's Federal Polytechnic School, but he did quite well in both physics and mathematics. It was in other areas that young, 16-year-old Einstein struggled, mainly on the French portion of the course, although he was able to go back a year later, pass his exam, and get into the school in the end. 13. Einstein's Childhood Speech There are many who will tell you that Einstein didn't speak until he was two. Some say three, others say four, but there is little evidence to support this claim. This didn't stop economist Thomas Sewell from coining the term Einstein Syndrome after him, which is a term used to describe late talkers. Young Albert also had a bit of a quirk with his speech that continued until he was around nine. His sister, Maya, has said that, as a child, Einstein would practice and repeat his sentences under his breath or in his head before speaking them aloud, just to make sure he got them right and that they made sense to him. 12. His Love of Music When young Albert was just five years old, his mother, Pauline, got him started on violin. He took lessons for many years, but didn't wholly fall in love with music until he was 13, when he discovered Mozart's violin sonatas. He began to study violin with more of a passion, a passion which continued the rest of his life. His violin was named Lina, and Lina was who, or what, he turned to when he needed inspiration, joy, or some plain old musical therapy. 11. He wasn't the greatest student. Young Mr. Einstein did do reasonably well in his studies, although he wasn't always the greatest student from a teacher's perspective. Namely, if he didn't like a class or a teacher, he wasn't afraid to show it, and was once kicked out of a class at 15 for being a little rabble-rouser. He also had a tendency of skipping classes if he didn't feel like going, and had a pretty big problem with authority, a trait which followed him his entire life. When he went back to the Federal Polytechnic School in Zurich, from which he graduated looking for a job as a teacher's assistant, he was turned away by all his former teachers due to behavioral issues they remembered from their time teaching him. 10. He visualized everything. Did you know the great mind of Einstein pictured the problems he was working on and saw them in genuinely creative ways? In fact, a lot of his more incredible breakthroughs came from what he called visual experiments, not from writing things out or doing equations. Examples include him picturing a speeding train being hit by lightning, which helped lead to his theory of general relativity. His thoughts on gravity were born from imagining being inside an enclosed and accelerating elevator up through space. His point was, no one would be able to tell if the effects they were feeling were caused by gravity or by the elevator shooting upwards in zero gravity. Can you imagine coming up with some of science's greatest theories simply by picturing fascinating things? 9. Barely missed the military Albert's parents moved to Italy, and Albert, in 1894, got a note from his family doctor that said he was suffering from nervous exhaustion. He used the note to get out of his school, hopped on a train for Italy, and never looked back. When he got there, he told his parents he'd do school elsewhere, and with the help of his father, renounced his German citizenship at 17, just months before he would have had to report for mandatory military service in the country. He also got out of military service in Switzerland after becoming a citizen because he had sweaty feet, flat feet, and varicose veins. The Swiss army apparently doesn't take too kindly to some fairly common problems, and he was marked unfit for duty. 8. Joblessness Did you know that Albert Einstein even after graduating from college, could hardly find a job. We already saw how he couldn't get a job from professors that taught him at Zurich's Federal Polytechnic School, but the bad luck didn't stop there. He tried writing to many, many professors all across Europe, hoping that somebody may give him an assistant position. His father, noticing Albert's bad luck, even went so far as to write one of his professors on his son's behalf and practically begged for a job for his son. He was jobless for a couple of years and couldn't get a teaching position for a number more, even after he came up with the special theory of relativity. Crazy. 7. 1905 1905 was a big year for Albert Einstein. We take that back. 1905 was a very, very big year for Albert Einstein. What with his four papers and all? 
They're called the Annus Mirabilis papers, which is pulled from Latin and means extraordinary year. And surprisingly, none of them have to do with gravity. The first dealt with the photoelectric effect, the second with Brownian motion, the third with special relativity, and the fourth with mass energy equivalence. These papers forever changed the way we look at the universe, and they gave us some of the most famous pieces of work in science. The E equals mc squared equation came from the mass energy equivalence, and the special theory of relativity gave us a theory on the relationships between space and time, and helped lead Einstein down a path towards the general theory of relativity. 6. Lost Theory Apparently, before Einstein passed away, he was working on a new theory, a theory which was playing with the idea of an alternative to the Big Bang. We know that the Big Bang is the idea that all things just exploded into existence from a singularity approximately 13.7 billion years ago. His theory, however, was trying to explain that the universe has always been and has instead expanded steadily at a slow rate over the course of time. He quit working on it and abandoned the theory altogether, though, and it was never published. The lost theory was found, though, 82 years after it was written, hiding under everyone's noses in Jerusalem at the Albert Einstein archives. 5. Negative Energy Einstein, in 1917, inserted the cosmological constant into his general theory of relativity. He did so so that his equations would be forced to predict a static, stationary universe, as before the constant, the equations weren't working and showed an expanding universe. The constant was a figure which forced the equation to work by setting up a hypothetical negative force to balance out the runway equations. When it was revealed that the universe is actually expanding and not staying static, Einstein called the constant the biggest blunder of his life. Well, it turns out the cosmological constant is actually the most accurate assessment of dark energy that we have, meaning that Einstein wasn't wrong in the first place. 4. Nobel Prize Extremely surprisingly, Einstein never won a Nobel Prize for either his special or general theory of relativity, some of his most significant accomplishments. But he did win the 1921 Nobel Prize and was awarded in 1922, and it was for his services to theoretical physics, and especially for his discovery of the law of the photoelectric effect. Also, when he had wanted a divorce from his first wife, Mileva Maric, he promised her that in exchange for one, he would give her the winnings when he eventually won the Nobel Prize. So, he got his divorce, he won the prize just a few years later, and do you know where the prize money went? To Mileva Maric. 3. He was a refugee Back in 1933, the German government put some new laws into place, laws which prevented Jews from holding any type of official position, including teaching at universities. Suddenly, thousands of Jewish scientists found themselves unemployed, and just a month later, Einstein's works, as well as many others, were targeted in book burnings around the country. Eventually, a German magazine put him on a list of enemies to the country, put a $5,000 bounty on his head, and marked his status as not yet hanged. He moved out of Germany and lived in Belgium for a number of months, then moved into England, where armed soldiers protected him. He was able to meet with Winston Churchill during this time and asked for help getting Jewish scientists out of Germany. Churchill requested Jewish scientists in Germany be found, brought to England, and hired on by British universities, which no doubt saved the lives of many. Einstein also wrote to the heads of other countries, including Turkey's Prime Minister, for help getting more Jewish scientists out. Eventually, more than 1,000 saved individuals showed up in the country, making Einstein quite the hero. He ended up making his way to America, where he settled into a position in New Jersey at Princeton's Institute for Advanced Study. 2. Nuclear Weapons on August 2, 1939, what is known as the einstein zillard letter was sent to Franklin Delano Roosevelt in the White House. The letter was written by Leo Zillard, who had consulted a couple of Hungarian physicists named Eugene Wigner and Edward Teller about the potential for Germany's development of nuclear weapons. Zillard had been concerned with the possibility that German scientists could attempt to harness nuclear power following his own experiments and two articles published by Siegfried Fluga, a German nuclear physicist, on the subject. The letter warned that Germans might, in fact, be developing dangerous weapons, and the letter was signed by the hugely influential and respected Einstein. FDR took it very seriously and prompted him to start the Manhattan Project, kicking America's development of its first atomic weapons into high gear. We've learned a heck of a lot about the great Einstein already, and we still have one more interesting fact to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, if you could sit down with him and ask Mr. Einstein one question, what would it be? Get creative as you know he would, and let us know in the comments below. 1. He could have saved himself. He had, years prior to his death, had an abdominal aortic aneurysm reinforced. Although, on April 17, 1955, 
he had it rupture and was sent to the hospital. At the time, he had been preparing a speech for a commemoration of the State of Israel's seventh birthday, so he took it to the hospital with him to try and finish it, although he didn't live long enough to. He was offered a surgery to fix the problem, although he called extending his life artificially tasteless. The next morning, April 18, 1955, he passed away in Princeton Hospital. If you enjoyed this video, do us a giant favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on our logo right here so that you can keep up with all of our excellent uploads. And check out this next video that we know you're going to love.